Welcome back. And here is Samson's take. I title it, How to Stop Galamse, the Doma Way. You could say the Berberaneha Way. Illegal mining, or Galamse, and its devastation can be stopped. The president, with all the awesome powers of the state, has lost the fight. Fact. The patriot, an accomplished surgeon, first to perform open heart surgery in the country, Professor Kwabena Frimpong Bwating, is battling costly defamation suits for fighting Galamse or trying to fight it. In fact, he may face prosecution for corruption in relation to how his dissolved committee handled money and seized excavators, machines, vehicles, and gold nuggets. The Office of Special Prosecutor may also not win an aspect of the fight or easily for obvious reasons. A soldier has been killed in the pursuit. State officials paid to regulate mining are compromised. Security officers sent to check Galamse end up offering protection or joining politicians, politically exposed persons, and chiefs who are neck deep in the illegal business. The business that is damaging our forest, destroying our farms and cocoa as well, poisoning our water and threatening our very existence. Yet it is only a small group of lawless, wicked, and greedy people who are involved in destroying the population and posterity. Journalists and citizens who dare to blow the whistle on their crimes are endangered. And the media, their media organizations, have to pay legal fees fighting nuisance suits, also known as SLAP, strategic lawsuits against public participation. They sue so that you don't get to comment about the issues. But Galamse can be stopped. It has been stopped in the Bono region. Brekum, German North, German South, Drobo, Doma, just to help you locate the people who make us feel really proud. I'm talking more especially about the true, bold, and wise people of the communities in Japekrum, in Winem, Asiri, Brebianeha, and Adomesu. They have been united and victorious in the fight to the extent the Operation Vanga Tax Force never saw the need to visit those areas. Unfortunately, they even stopped licensed mining activities there because they know too well that much galamse happens on so-called legal concessions, led by their chiefs and queen mothers and working with assemblymen the locals have frustrated and prevented Symphony Limited, a registered large-scale mining company, from doing any work there since 2011. Not even showing proof of valid prospecting licenses granted, by the, com granted the company in 2016 got them to operate on any of their five concessions in these districts. The company had to write complaining and seeking state intervention and protection to work. It informed authorities about how community leaders, especially particular assemblymen, mobilized the people against their operations. They feared they would lose their livelihood, their farms, their cashew and cocoa farms. They used community radio and also went round announcing over loudspeakers the dangers of Galamse and why it was important to do everything 
even if it meant bloodshed, to protect their lands from officials who sat in Accra and gave out concessions when they did not own any piece of land there. A chief who tried to convince the people to support the company got distooled. Yes. Things escalated, forcing a curfew, which was renewed in October 2019. They never changed their position, despite letters from the Minerals Commission confirming the company had valid permits. Well, they needed more than that. A registrar of the lands court in Tema, Sebastian Agbo, was recently dismissed for fraudulently preparing as many as 30 court orders. This was made public a day after the Supreme Court speaking through Justice Jones Doche in a unanimous judgment indicted him, Sebastian, and Justice Emmanuel Ankama over suspected tampering and manipulation of court documents to give a decision which the five-member panel quashed. The court also fingered lawyer Maurice Ampal for undervaluing properties of a dead wealthy reverend minister, Emmanuel Dogbaji, to cheat the state in the amount of tax to pay. The court referred all of them to the Chief Justice for further investigations of what it described as, quote, a sordid affair and shameful conduct, end quote, that cast a slur on the integrity of the judiciary. A careful study of the judgment seems to indicate proper investigations may show an aspect of the findings of the court is faulty. But let those who must face prosecution be charged and not merely dismissed. That's not how to fight corruption in the state. The state can show a far superior example in the Galamse fight. But we, the people, make the state and donate power to politicians to act for our welfare. Let communities emulate the people of Doma or Berbianeha to unite against Galamse, and we shall succeed. And that is my take. We'll be right back to canvas the matters that we have put together to discuss this morning. <laughs> 